Right, so my project is the EpiViews project. So what it stands for is Exploring Patient Impact and Value in Epilepsy Wearable Seizure Monitoring. Now, that took a while to make actually this acronym and we're particularly proud of it, so I'm obligated to tell you about it. Um, so a quick background on the device itself. So the name of the device is the Empatica Embrace 2. It's a wrist-worn wearable device that detects tonic-clonic seizures and sends an alert to a designated caregiver. It's the first of its kind um, to receive FDA approval in the field of epilepsy. And it works by linking, um, it links to your mobile phone and records seizures, physical activity, and it sends a telephone call or a text message to um, a designated caregiver and helps you get basically your assistance or help sooner. And, oh, actually before that, I'd like to highlight actually that, oh, it's going on here. Oh, I'd like to highlight actually that this project is conducted independently from Empatica and it has a benefit in that it gives a degree of separation from possible biases that might arise from working with um, a funding company that has a vested interest in the watch itself. So a quick bit about um, the team. So there's myself, um, John David Damalerio. Um, I've been introduced there by Adele. Um, my supervisors are Dr. Rob Argent, who's a lecturer in RCSI and who's had previous experience working with wearable technology, and Professor Colin Doherty, which you're probably familiar with, who's had numerous years of experience in neurology, who'll be providing help on the clinical side of things. So the main two research questions of our project is, what's the accuracy of the Embrace 2 wearable device in detecting seizures? And what's the clinical impact of using a wearable seizure monitor in the management of epilepsy? Uh, along with that, we also have other questions we'd like to find out. So what is it like to wear the device? How user-friendly is the device? Is it easy to set up? Um, can you live with it? How does it make you feel? What impact does it have on your life? Does it have any impact on health? And does it offer any value to you, a caregiver or healthcare provider? And regarding the concept of value, I'll be discussing that again in a bit later on. So our research plan consists of two main phases. The first is an inpatient study where we compare the ability of the Embrace 2 to detect seizures um, in relation to the a video EEG, which is the gold standard. Um, 20 participants attending the epilepsy management unit will be given the watch and for the duration of their stay. All the, oops, sorry, the seizures will be recorded by the device and um, they'll be compared to the seizures detected by the video EEG and we'll have a good idea of its accuracy um, in a controlled setting. The second phase is a more real world study where we begin to understand the lived experiences of patients and caregivers um, using the wearable device and explore its impact it has on managing the condition and its accuracy in a real world setting. So for this, 80 participants will be given the wearable device for six months. And through a combination of questionnaires, interviews, and data from the device itself, we'll be able to get results and outcomes from that. So you might be asking yourself, um, am I eligible? How can I participate? So our goal is to include as wide a population of people with epilepsy as possible. So to be eligible, all you have to do is answer yes to these three questions. Are you aged over 18? Do you own a smartphone? And have you experienced at least two generalized tonic-clonic seizures in the past year? Now, we're not quite at ethics approval yet, so we're slowly going through that at the moment. So recruitment will begin in around September, October of next year, and Epilepsy Ireland will circulate information regarding this study at a later period. So um, kind of winding up here, um, we want to ask, is this something that we should recommend to people with epilepsy? to either improve the management of their condition or to improve their quality of life. And that brings us back to the concept of value. So in a sense, while the possibility exists that there might not be clinical benefit from the watch itself, um, what stands is that if the watch, if you find that the watch gives you reassurance 
allows you to live with your condition without any overarching fear, then that has tangible value in and of itself. And that's what our project seeks to find out. So, so that's basically our project. Hopefully it gave you a glimpse as to what our project is, what, um, what to expect, and hopefully it, it allows you to um, look forward to what we have. Now, uh, if you have any questions, any burning questions or ideas, I'm located over there in the future neuro stand. I have this badge that says, ask me about my research, and you can ask me any questions that you don't want to ask publicly here. So thank you very much for your time.